Hey everyone, Bookworm Bricks here. Welcome back to my channel. Um, today we're here to look at my updated microscale Lego Hogwarts mock. Uh, this was actually the original version of this, was the first video on my channel. So it was really fun to revisit it. Anyway, let's get into it. So, my main uh, points as I revisited this mock was to improve the accuracy and proportions of this. Uh, the first place I started was um, at the viaduct bridge here. In the original version, it was just a couple of really thick pillars instead of a lot of the really thin uh, supports on the actual bridge. So I'm really happy to improve that. I just did it by stacking a bunch of clear and tan plates and then uh, attaching them on their side to get that nice um, thin look. Uh, next, uh, over here on the east wing, I believe, of the castle, um, the long gallery section here was a bit too long on my original version, so I just shortened that. And I also replaced the greenhouses with uh, just regular uh, two by one clear plates to give them a more kind of subtle appearance. Um, uh, I also... Uh, the Great Hall used to be much too big, so I just shortened that down and made it a bit thinner. And I also, uh, for the first time, added the little um, connecting hallway between that and the Grand Staircase Tower, which is a fun detail that I'm happy to have added. Uh, since I sized down the Great Hall, I also had to shrink the courtyard. And it's not quite perfect just because uh, at the smaller scale, I'm not able to have the open area where the courtyard is open on the actual thing, uh, but I think it's a fine compromise. Uh, this building here, I made the archway a bit taller, which is more accurate, and I also, this bridge is, uh, actually connects that to the viaduct entrance hall, which is more accurate, and I added this second small tower. I also added the second small tower on the uh, astronomy tower, and I think that definitely helps to look with all those uh, towers kind of leading off the side of it. Um, uh, just around the castle as well, I just added more cheese slopes to the rock work to give it a more finished look. Uh, now coming around the side here, since I shortened the long gallery, I was able to bring the bell towers back a little bit more, which is uh, of course more accurate there's more space out here and I also shortened this center section so it's more proportional. I also just around the whole castle fixed the shape of some of the towers. Um, the owlery here is more accurate now that it's a bit smaller and uh, in relation and height to the rest of the castle it's a bit farther back and uh, taller up. Unfortunately, this rock work around here isn't quite as smooth as I would like it to be, so I might I might have to revisit that, but I'm happy with how it looks for now. Um, also, from here, you can start to see the, uh, I added the kind of gorge section in the middle uh, between the quad courtyard and the astronomy tower. Originally, that was just flat studs, and I think I really improved it by just adding some slightly more complex rock work. I also made the, speaking of the quad courtyard, I made that a bit taller. Same with the clock tower, as you can see. And then coming around, everything in this area here is, it's kind of hard to tell where everything is. So it's not quite perfect, but still have Hagrid's Hut and the Whomping Willow. Hagrid's Hut, I sized down quite a bit and I'm really happy with how it turned out. Um, so it's just much more proportionally accurate, but it's still quite obvious what it is. And then I was also able to add the uh, big bay window at the back of the Great Hall, which it always felt a little flat back there um, in the original model. So I'm very happy that I was able to improve that. But that's pretty much going to finish it up for this one. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, feel free to subscribe, comment, like, um, but I'll see you in the next one.